There's five main issues that we treat at the Treatment Center for Metabolic Disorder. Obesity, weight gain, hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, and usually a symptom of those also combined digestive issues like bloating, acid reflux, constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, not all patients have those issues, but a vast majority of them do. Today I want to talk with you a little bit about what causes these issues to occur and what our treatment approach is. The first thing is the, the misunderstanding with weight gain, which is probably the primary thing that brings people into our office, is the inability of the body to actually remove body fat. There's a liver disruption that occurs in the system that causes body fat to be deposited or stored, but an enzyme dysfunction that occurs inside the liver that doesn't allow the liver to actually remove body fat as well as it should. Now, some of the primary things that occur with this type of chronic illness and disease are those secondary factors I mentioned earlier, like diabetes or increasing cholesterol or hypertension, which occur as that disease process gets worse. So it's not always commonly present with every patient that comes into the office, but is usually a developmental factor as that disease process gets worse. The liver dysfunction causes a variety of different symptoms to occur. Fatigue, inability to sleep properly, and a variety of different things that you'll find on our checklist. If you'd like to go there, you can see if, you, uh, if you're a good candidate or not. Our treatment approach is drastically different than the common medical approach out there. Rather than trying to um, treat these disorders with medication or surgery, our goal has been to find the hub. What's really causing these disorders to occur? Now, if you're experiencing weight gain, for example, you'll probably find that at one point in time, you could diet and exercise and the weight would resolve. It would, it, you would start to lose weight. With time, as the disorder gets worse, you can exercise and diet and no longer have the ability to lose weight. In some cases, patients can diet and exercise and there's no effect at all. Well, obviously there's a, there's a chemical problem. There's a biochemical problem. There's something's not working right inside your body. Otherwise, it would resolve with exercise and diet. Our focus is to try to figure out what's causing that problem and we're very successful at it. What we found is that the liver, which controls the removal of body fat, becomes congested and as that liver becomes congested, the enzyme function of the liver doesn't work any longer. Our treatment goal is to teach patients how they're individually reacting to things like foods or toxins in the foods, to educate the patient so that you're able to make lifestyle changes. These lifestyle changes then becomes a part of your knowledge base. This puts you in charge of your health. And if you currently have hypertension, diabetes, or high cholesterol, one of our other goals is to, is to be able to get your body to function properly so that you no longer have to take those medications. It's a very important part. As you see with chronic disease like hypertension, weight gain, uh, diabetes, and high cholesterol, oftentimes patients continue to add medications the longer those disease processes go. We don't feel that this is a good approach. It's better to find out what's causing the problem, treat that issue as naturally as possible, not continue to add medications for those conditions. So at our office, if you become a patient, our goal is to teach you how your body's responding to things like diet, changing your diet rather than dieting, if you will, teach you how lifestyle modifications will help you to live a healthier and happier life, and, and also, very importantly, make lifestyle changes for your children and your family. That way they're not developing these dis disease issues. So. Thank you for visiting our website today, and hopefully this gives you more information. We look forward to seeing you if you become a patient, and visit our checklist. Our checklist will help you determine whether or not you're a good candidate for this program or not. I'm Dr. Chad Watson with the Treatment Center for Metabolic Disorders, and thank you for visiting our website.